Hey, second grade, this is another lesson from our skills unit. Um, this is a skill that we have been practicing the past couple weeks before all of this crazy online um, learning events happened. Um, this skill that we're working on is putting things in ABC order or alphabetical order. So what I have done is I've taken five words. We're gonna just start small today and see what we remember. I've taken these five words, if I can get it, hang on, there we go. I have these five words on my big whiteboard here that we're gonna take and put into ABC order. So you might just grab a piece of paper if you have one nearby, or if you don't have one, you can just watch, make sure you're paying attention, because you're gonna be putting some words in ABC order after this as one of your assignments. Um, and you can, you're always welcome to go back and watch the videos again if you need to rehear the lesson, that's totally fine. Remember that hearing things more than once sometimes will help our brain understand it a little bit better. Um, so if you remember, um, the very first step that we have to do whenever we are putting things in ABC order, the very first step is that we have to write our ABCs. So I've done that across the top of my mini whiteboard here. You can just do this on a piece of paper, on a napkin, any type of scrap paper that you find around you. Um, I have my ABCs. I just went through A, B, C, D, saying my alphabet and wrote my ABCs. And then I have numbers one through five because I have five words that I'm putting in ABC order. So I'll give you just a minute to do that. You're welcome to also pause the video um, so that you have time to do that and catch up so I don't leave you behind. You're always welcome to pause the video anytime if I'm going a little bit too fast. Um, so remember that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our alphabet. We're going to look at the letter A. We're checking to see if any of our words start with the letter A, which none of them do. So we're going to cross our A off. We're done with the letter A. There's no A words. So next we're going to go to B. We're going to see if there's any words that start with B. There are no words that start with B, so we'll cross it off. Next we'll check out C. Any words that start with C? Nope, no words that start with C yet. I guess I apologize. I guess we should have read the words together. I totally forgot to do that with you. So let's pause for just a second. Ms. Brooks made a mistake. And let's read the words really quickly. This first word is noise. We can see it has our O-I, oi, oi, oi sound, noise. Over here we have a tricky word. This one's night, like night time. This one is another tricky word. This one is kneel. This one was where the K is silent. It doesn't make any sound. Kneel. Whenever you kneel, you're getting down on one leg. And um, the next one is kind of tricky. Wrinkle. Wrinkle, like you have a wrinkle in your clothes. And the last one is ripple. The word ripple is like whenever you throw a rock in water and the water makes little ripples in the water. It makes a little movement in the water. So I apologize, I forgot to read those with you before we started. So we've checked for A, we've checked for B, we've checked for C. There are no D words either. I'm just gonna keep going through the alphabet until I find a word that starts with the letter that I'm on. There's no E. I don't see any F. I don't see any words that start with G. I'm just crossing them off as I go. There's no words with H since the beginning. There's no words that start with I. There's no words that start with J. There is finally a word that starts with a K. The word here that starts with a K is the word kneel. The K is actually quiet in this word. So I'm gonna move to number one. And number one, the very first word on my list, is going to be the word kneel. Go ahead and make sure you have number one on your list. And I'm gonna scribble the word kneel out because we're done with it. We've already put it in order. I don't see any other K words on my board, so I'm gonna keep moving my next letter. Oh, I gotta cross off my K, don't forget. My next letter is L. I don't see any words that start with the letter L, so I'm gonna cross it off and keep moving. Next I have M. No words that start with M, so we'll cross it off. Next I have N. We do have this word that starts with an N. This word is noise. And we also have the word night that starts with an N. Hmm. Let's see if your super smart brains remember. What do I do if both of my, my words that I have start with the same letter? They both start with N. 
So how do I know what to do next? I have to go to the next letter and see what it is. Here I have the letter I, and here I have the letter O. So if we look at our alphabet, here's I, and here's O. The letter I comes before the letter O. So that means the first word that comes is gonna be the in I word, so night. And next will be the second word that began with an N, the N-O word, which was noise. Again, if I'm going too fast, you're welcome to pause it any time. I have to go a little bit speedy so I don't get caught off on my video. All right, so we're done. I'm gonna cross off both of our words that start with N, and we're gonna cross off the letter N on our alphabet because we're done with the, the N word group. Next we have the letter O. There are no O words. I only have a W and an R word left. So I'm gonna keep crossing off. There's no P words. There's no Q words. There is, however, an R word. That word that starts with an R is the word ripple. So it's going to be word number four on my list. Ripple. And now I can stop because I only have one word left. The very last word on my list must be the word wrinkle. So now I put all my words in ABC order. I have kneel, night, noise, ripple, and wrinkle. Those are my words that are in ABC order. What I'm gonna have you do next is I'm gonna have an assignment. You should already be in Canvas if you're watching this video. So underneath, there should be a take quiz button. You'll push take quiz and make sure you try your very best to get the right answer. Remember that whenever you're putting words in ABC order, step one is to write your alphabet across the top so you can see what letter you're on. And then make sure that you put them in ABC order. Go through your alphabet letters and see if there's any word that starts with each letter. And that's how you will know. If they start with the same letter, like noise and night, you'll make sure that you go to the next letter and see if that helps you out. All right, I'll see you guys next time.